Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. We are so grateful that we have an opportunity to worship our God in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship God. And as we continue sharing today on the certainty of God's promises, we want to make it very clear, emphatically clear, that the promises of God are established in the foundation of truth. God's promises are sure. They cannot be changed or adjusted because they are yes and amen. We need to be rooted as believers and grounded in the promises of God if we are going to finish strong in the season of our lives. As believers, we need to take hold of God's promises. The enemy is trying every way, shape, and form to distract us. But we need to be foundational. We need to be rooted. We need to be grounded. In the promises of God. Without God's word in us, there is no salvation, no healing, no deliverance, no hope. There's no assurance without God's word in us, no insurance. We will have no confidence. And more importantly, there is no home in glory with God forever. So because the promises of God is foundation in the truth, in the word of God, we need his word in our lives. Without that, we are drifters. Without the promises of God in our lives, without his word in us, we are drifters. God promised to keep us. He promised to preserve us and that he will come again to receive us. That's a promise. So whatever season we are going through in our lives, let's hold on to the promises of God. It may be pain, it may be sickness, we may be happy. We may be at the best of our lives, but we need to hold on to the promises of God. God is our anchor. He's the anchor of our soul. Moreover, we can trust in his promise and be assured that he will keep us. Our meditation today comes from Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19. A word to the Jewish nation, and indeed a word to us. This hope is like an anchor for us. It is strong and sure and keep us safe. It goes beyond the curtain. The word of God to the people of God. God can help us. His promises are certain, cannot be changed, cannot be adjusted. So if you promise healing, receive it. Hope, help, receive it. Salvation, receive it. More importantly, we wait for his coming again to take us to be with him forever. Let's hold to the promises of God. It's like an anchor to our soul. Father, thank you. Thank you that legislation in any nation, laws, traditions, and customs cannot stop your promise from coming to pass. We give you praise today that your promise is certain because it is founded on the word, on the truth of God. And as believers, we hold 
to the certainty of your promise. And we thank you for being an anchor to our soul. Steadfast, sure, even while the billows roll, we give you praise that we are fastened to you, the rock, which is Jesus the Christ, cannot be moved. We are grounded firm and we are sure in your love today. So we yield to you. We submit, we submit our families to you. And we give you thanks for the peace of Jerusalem. We praise you for leaders everywhere, including those who lead the nations, our prime minister and all of parliament and their families. We commend them to you today. And we say, Lord, have your way. Touch those who lead in the body of Christ even now. That we will lead according to your will and serve lost humanity, the gospel of the kingdom. We give you praise today for your power to help, to bring hope, to bring healing and deliverance. We hope in it today. And we give you praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we give you thanks. Amen. God bless you today as we hold fast to the promises of God. It is as an anchor to our soul that will keep us steadfast. We got to believe today and trust Him. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.